You know, I got thinking about different facilities. We were using an old, what we had for a cow operation. We took some of our 30 foot portable panels, put a two by six on the bottom so that the feed doesn't push out the bottom. We use that as a bunk line feeder. Keeps a lot of the feed out of their wool on their necks. We can keep fresh feed in front of them. We can get a lot more use on the line. We can keep fresh feed in front of them, fork it up twice a day. We rejuvenated this old pole shed and we just tinned it. But my coolest invention that I love everybody complains about sheep farmers using pallets for everything well here's how we used pallets we took uniform pallets it's kind of messy but what we did is we pounded a post we stacked a couple of pallets together we lifted them up with a with two by fours under junction here grk screws into the tube into the post we lifted it up used a level got it level now we've got a slab fence that's out of free pallets. So yeah, I had to go get them, but that's our holding that we use to go and get into our lambing barn when we're bringing news out of different pens. And we just walk, shut this gate here, go in through the door. Go in the door, that's our using, that's our oops group, the ones that lambed with a ram that got out for, well, we figure about three, maybe four hours. And back in October when we were doing some inventory. So, yeah, we ended up with all these ewes, lambed. There's a bunch over there. There's 42 or 44 that lambed, and it was exposure from over a couple of days. We got a auger that was cut in half that we use. Just built some legs on it and bought dad bought them found them on Kijiji Their fences are made out of pallet. Like, it doesn't have to be fantastic guys. Just use some creativity like again three inch posts use some slabs an old Two by fours from old sla old pallets There's the inside of our pallet pen. There's some of our portable penning for in the in the lambing barn Here's in our lambing barn Again, pallets. Got these from Convoy Construction, and or it's roofing supplies in Regina. Big shout out to them. We just took these 53 and a half by, you know, 43 and a half by 57. We cut them down, took like six inches off so that they're accessible, and we just tie them together with baler twine for the win. When we tear it down, we cut it off, throw it in the burning barrel, start over again next year. So in this barn, this is our main lambing barn, we, <clears throat> we usually have, we can set up up to 36 jugs. We've got a little storage area up there. Four permanent ones, they just stay there all the time. And there everything else comes down. Nice window there that looks out to nowhere. It's a bonus window that we're going to put in somewhere someday. That's a little bit of, that's one short little excerpt of our operation.